distancing challenge. Now, the head of one of the region's longest established funeral directors is asking the Prime Minister to make crisis loans available to help pay for funerals. Alison Craig, a Teesside-based former president of the National Association of Funeral Directors, says bereaved families entitled to benefits are seeing lengthy delays in their payments. It's thought these could worsen due to the increased number of people claiming unemployment benefits and a possible second wave of coronavirus-related deaths. Our business correspondent Ian Reeve reports. Teesside funeral director Alison is the latest person to ask the government for financial help. Not for her company, but for bereaved families who are on benefits. In those cases, the Department for Work and Pensions can pay part of the funeral's costs. A decision and payment supposed to be made within three weeks. In practice, it's much longer, leaving families in limbo, the funeral director out of pocket. We're currently seeing 40 or 44, and that's working days. So, of course, this has a significant impact for families that are reliant on that towards the cost of a funeral. So what we're asking the government to consider is that they provide a crisis loan, so an immediately accessible loan for families to alleviate the financial uncertainty at this difficult time. A funeral loan would also help the industry. It sees cash flow problems thanks to those late payments and it doesn't have the luxury of not paying bills. Cremation and burial fees have to be paid to local authorities quickly. For all funeral businesses, all funeral companies, those fees are paid monthly and usually within a 14 day uh, time period. So you would receive your invoice at the end of the month and payments made in 14 days. But of course this impacts on the cash flow for funeral directors because, for example here, because of the number of funerals we do, we would expect that to be £60,000 per month that we would pay. Incredibly then, in the midst of a pandemic, the funeral industry could see some companies go out of business. And if they do, society will take a bigger hit than merely solving the practicalities of burial or cremation. For instance, Alison's company aims to give a thousand comfort packs to the bereaved. They'll include a candle, advice on counselling, and this best-selling book, sourced by her local bookshop. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you, and love brings you home. And it's just little snippets in there that you can have a discuss about, or just have a big cuddle over, and we, we were just so excited to get involved with this. Some comfort, no doubt. But what might be of greater help is taking away the immediate financial worry of funeral costs with a loan. Something for the Prime Minister to grapple with. Ian Reeve, BBC Look North, Stockton. Now, many of our favourite...